flagship carnival celebration. We yes. Look at the beauty. Traditional orange juice, coffee, Bloody Mary. Bring on the food. All right, breakfast has arrived. I have the Voyage Burger, and it's got an egg on top. That looks really good. All right. Yep. Mm. And I am sticking with my tradition of skillet cakes. And we did get a side of bacon on the split. And we also got the bread basket, which is uh, pastries. Haven't gotten that yet. So if those come, we'll show you those as well. <laughs> that looks really good. Yeah. And that bacon, nice and crisp. Yeah. So, bon appetit. Oh boy. Checking out the summer's landing area, which looks like a nice, nice sunny day. And we have a carnival friend. It might be Horizon again. Yep, way off there in the tanker. today but uh, maybe tomorrow. Oh yeah the orange one is oh feel that sun yeah so yeah yep the orange one has to be the drop side. Yeah we'll have to check that out. Then we got the whale tail. Hey you're in the vault <laughs> oh no if See you ya. want if you wanna be <laughs> I don't care. Okay <laughs> I should have showed his Paro DJ shirt. He had a Paro DJ shirt. But anyway, the, the layout is just like Mardi Gras. The Gulf is in the back. You got the track up there. All the water slides. 
so yeah we'll be back for this nice and windy up here we're in the wrong attire <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate playground. The ultimate playground. Yeah. Come on. So Come on. Lunch part one. <laughs> we have Street Eats uh, Philly cheese fries and then a pad thai. And that's pretty good. I had the pad thai so far. And we chose our Very spot lovely. next to the soda machine and of course Sea Dogs right there. Don't miss this place. You may like not think hot dog is a good thing, but very good. Alright, those are your fries. So the fries are pretty good too. I've had one a mushroom so far. Not bad. Oh boy. Alright, this is why I say don't pass on sea dogs. Look at that. Very, very, very good. And Andrea's enjoying hers. It's got some cheese and relish on Cheese and mine. relish. And you got, looks like you got red onion. And yeah, red onion, cheese, relish, and peppers. Almost like a Chicago All style. Oh, banana peppers. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, don't pass up on sea dogs. All right, we got amber. Toasted. Yeah. yeah. We put it in our little thing. Give it a little smell and a little taste. Do you smell like your beer before you taste it? It's like a... Now you're going to notice in the, in the, the aroma, the taste, it's got some kind of like uh, toasted bread type of flavors. Yeah. A little bit of like caramel sweetness. And then it'll finish off with just a little bit of bitterness. So it kind of starts a little sweet and then the bitterness comes along and just cuts off that sweetness. So that's what we mean, like it's kind of a balanced beer. It's got both things kind of represented. Um, it's fairly approachable. Is that brewed here or is that brewed off the shelf? Um, all the beer in Pig and Anchor is brewed by me. Cool. Then there are some other bars that have my kegs on tap and sure. some of them that have carnival beer but that is made in a different brewery. Gotcha, gotcha. But like if we're looking, if we're looking just on this ship. It's everything that's made here. Everything that's made here, and then Dimar some of my beer, um, Center Stage, Casino. So even like the cans, you guys. The can, can I am too? not involved with the cans at all. Yeah, we have more. Oh yeah. Oh, so the smoky flavor that you're getting on this oh, yeah, beer is coming from... Oh, I do taste the hint of like chocolate and car or coffee. Caramel? Yeah. Coffee. Mm. Chocolate. <laughs> coffee That's pretty good. Caramel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so our flight is complete. Uh, yeah. All carnival beers, all parch pig brand beers. So, and then we're going to get to see the, uh, the brewing area itself. It's a couple specialty, specialty beers. Very cool so far. So this is a, this is a, like I said, this is a smoke porter. This is probably the best beer of the four. Uh, there's beer is actually won multiple awards. The original one of the beers all I do came up with this recipe. He got a girlfriend during COVID, did not come back. <laughs> uh, That's he's married now, so it worked out. My part of the job, before it goes in there, the yeast does its part of the job, then I clean up after those little critters, and then the cycle repeats itself. Mm. Circle of life. Uh, so this, is, uh, this system makes 500 liters, and uh, the tanks in there are 1,000 liters. So I brewed two batches to fill up one tank. All right? And it's a pretty uh, special system. 
Unless you've been on another carnival ship, you've probably never seen a system like this before. It's only one of like 40 like it in the world. Uh, I mean, Carnival owns about 15 of them. So, like I was saying earlier, Carnival Cruise Lines has six breweries, six brewery ships, but Carnival Corporation also owns a cruise line called Ida, which is a German company, and they've been putting breweries on their ship since 2012. And I know MSC, uh, another cruise line not associated with Carnival, uh, they launched their, or about to launch their first brewery ship, and they got another one on the way. So there's a heating element on the bottom of the tank and a heating element in the middle of the tank. And that is actually connected to like the steam infrastructure of the entire ship. So there's high pressure steam being sent all around the ship to all the different galleys where they're cooking your guys' food. When they're cooking your guys' food, they're using high pressure steam appliances. Steam powered grills, steam powered fryers, steam powered pasta makers, it's all steam. Um, there's very little to no flame or fire on the ship. So, you know, cruise ship, fire, not good. Not good. Yeah. Everybody thinks about Titanic and those types of disasters. No, 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 no. The biggest type of disaster that could happen on board on a ship is fire. There is a kind of like a lemonade type of flavor to it. Uh, this beer we made in collaboration with my brewing company out of Miami. Oh, that's good. That's like candy. Uh, that's my favorite. I love it. Oh, so we just did the brewery tour. Oh, yeah. We got certificates. We got our glasses. And glasses. And my hair is windblown. Yeah, but I was just walking through and we're like, the views on the ship are crazy. So look at this view. So there's that. And then you spin around. And it's like, then there's the ocean here, so, <laughs> such views. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice photo spot. Okay, we are right there, getting close to Amber Cove. So Cuba is off to our right, and I'll go show you now. It looks like a mountain range. As you can see, Celebration is a great ship. It's the newest, it's the Cardinal Cruise Line flagship. It's the most technologically advanced one. And then, of course, I'm better driving than talking, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, that's about it. Welcome aboard and uh, enjoy. Enjoy this beautiful seven days at sea. And, uh, and uh, here we are. Welcome, once again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Captain. I should say that because I'm better at talking than driving, so we make a good path. Yeah. Alright, Andrea's first dirty martini. Yes. So, Laura Huggleson, I'm trying it. Extra olive. Extra olive. Oh. So she asked for extra olive juice. So, all right, we'll see. Check if you like it. Is that a cucumber sunrise? No. Different. This is from Alchemy Bar. This is Pink Cup. There you go. Do I buy it to London? All right, all right. All right, all right. here we hate Alchemy. <laughs> Nice and refreshing. Okay. It's very olive -y, but olive -y? it's like subtle, not overly, but not bad. It is may it be a, it may be something getting used to because it's different. Is it dry yeah. or no? Not dry? Yeah, I think so. A little dry. All right. I'll have you try it. Well, alright, I'll try it. Definitely all of these. Do you like it? It's good. You like it?
<laughs> Perfect. I got all three of you. Their, her take on Golden Galaxy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because she did, both of these ladies worked on the Mardi Gras, on the fort, in the fortune teller. Yeah. We are the only people at this table. <laughs> what is this? It's ten? set for about 10 people. <laughs> 10 people and it's all ours so far. It could be the magic all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. In which case we'll ha have to get our picture taken. So anyway, we ordered dinner, so bring on dinner. Yeah. Someone may have ordered two entrees. <laughs> All right, so Andrea has crab cakes. I have shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad. But the problem is, I don't think I can reach the pepper. It's way over there. <laughs> you can maybe use the pepper. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll just stand up and get the pepper. Okay, Andrea has the grilled jumbo shrimp. And it comes with potato and a little garnish, but yeah. I forgot to put my napkin on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so far, we're really loving this. The appetizers were on point. The uh, shrimp cocktail was awesome. Caesar salad, very awesome. And then I have a little surf and turf going. Jumbo shrimp and the filet mignon. And Andrea just going with the shrimp. <laughs> I saw that. Good? All very right. lovely. All right, very good. And we have this whole table. I'll show it again. <laughs> <laughs> and we had them take our picture so they could see the whole table and just us. And we'll put it with the Carnival no, Magic picture. <laughs> Thank you. 
the best thing about me is you in the main dining room fabulous as always um then as you saw we just kind of lounged around on the ship and then it kind of started to rain so stayed inside uh we did a uh, first time brewery tour um got to sample four of the carnival beers and an extra one for a fifth beer a sour um, so let us know if any of you have ever taken a brewery tour on one of the five, five ships. We'll list what the ships were. And after brewery tour, um, headed off to Elegant Night in the main dining room. Once again, we had a 10 top to ourselves. So check out this picture and our picture here from 2016 when the same thing happened before. Uh, after dinner, checked out Celestial Strings, and then headed over, uh, met up with Para DJ, and saw uh, Reggie, solo guitars, fantastic, asked if she knew any Phil Collins, 
nailed it another day in paradise so fantastic thanks for coming along give us a thumbs up tomorrow is amber cove first time being there so excited so can't wait to show you but for now see ya